welcome children in this session we will see how to divide numbers let us see first of all we recall whatever we learned pre previous Phillips first one the symbol used for multiplication the symbol used for multiplication is this symbol 343 into 1 is equal to 343. Any number multiplied by 1 means the answer will be the same number. 343 into 1 is equal to 343. Any number multiplied by 0, we will get the answer is 0. 9840 into 0 is equal to 0. See, 8756 multiplied by 10, we get the answer is 87560. What will happen here? The 0 added at the last. When we multiplied by 10, the 0, 1, 0 added at the last of the given number. Next number, 793 into 100. So, when we multiplied by 100, see the number what happened? The last two places added with the two zeros. 79,300. The result of multiplication is called what? Product. The result of multiplication is called product. Let us move to the division. First, we recall the division algorithm. To check the division is correct or not, we can use the division algorithm. The division algorithm is dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. What is the division algorithm? Dividend equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Here, remainder should be smaller than the divisor always. What? Reminder should be smaller than the divisor. Now, let us see the questions from exercise 2.4d. First question, find quotient and reminder. The first subdivision, 5732 divided by 9. So, when we divide, the dividend, you have to write inside the symbol 5732 and the divisor you should write in the left of the symbol. So, first you have to consider the number from the left side. So, the number from the left side is first 5. So, in the ninth table, 5 is smaller than 9. So, you have to take the next number also. So, it takes 57. So, in the ninth table, we have to check where 57 coming or less than 57. The nearer to the number of 57, you have to check. 6, 9, sir, 54. So, what will be the reminder? 3. 7 minus 4, 3. So, bring the next number down. So, it becomes 33. So, in 9 table, we have to check where 33 comes or less than 33 comes. 9 3s are 27. What will be the reminder? 6. Bring the next number down. It becomes 62. So, again in 9 table, you see where 62 comes or not less than 62 comes. 54 comes. 6 9s are 54. What will be the reminder? 8. Therefore, the quotient is 636 and the remainder is 8. What is the quotient? 636 and what will be the remainder? 8. Let us move to the next question. The question is 47,345 divided by 5. So what is the dividend? 47,345 and what is the divisor? 5. Let us see the answer. 
first 4 is less than 5 so you have to take 47 together in 5 table where 47 comes or not less than 47 comes 9 5 are 45 what will be the remainder 2 bring the next number down 23 so in 5 table 5 4 are 20 what will be the remainder 3 so bring the next number down it becomes 34 5 6 are 30 remainder 4 bring the next number down 45 so 9 5 are 45 remainder 0 so what is the quotient 9469 and what will be the remainder 0 what is the quotient 9469 and remainder equal to 0 let us move to the next question the question is 3032 divided by 9 7 what is the dividend 3032 and what is the divisor 7 let us see the answer first from the left side 3 is less than 7 so we have to take the next number also it becomes 30 so among 30 7 occurs how many times 4 times 4 7 are 28 remainder 2 bring the next number down it becomes 23 so among 23 7 occurs how many times 7 3s are 21 remainder 2 bring the next number down it becomes 22 again among 22 how many times 7 occurs 7 3s are 21 what is the remainder 1 <coughs> So the quotient is 433 and the remainder is 1. What is the quotient? 433 and what is the remainder? 1. Let us move to the next one. The question is 43,251 divided by 10. Let us see the answer. First, 4 is less than 10. Therefore, you have to take the next number also, 43. So among 43, 10 occurs how many times? 4 tens are 40. What is the remainder? 3. Bring the next number down. It becomes 32. So, among 32, 10 occurs 3 times. 3 tens are 30. Remainder 2. Bring the next number down. It becomes 25. So, among 25, 10 occurs 2 times. 2 tens are 20. Remainder 5. Bring the next number 1 down. So, 51. Among 51, 10 occurs 5 times. 5 tens are 50. Remainder 1. So, what is the quotient? 4325. And what is the remainder? 1. What is the quotient? 4325. And what is the remainder? 1. Let us move to the next one. The question is 2532 divided by 4. What is the dividend? 2532 and what is the divisor 4 let us see the answer the first number 2 is less than 4 so we have to take the next number also together so it becomes 25 so among 25 4 occurs 6 times 6 4 are 24 remainder 1 bring the next number down it becomes 13 so among 13 4 occurs 3 times 3 4 are 12 so remainder 1 so bring the next number down. So it becomes 12. So among 12, three occur, 4 occurs 3 times. So 4 3s are 12. Remainder 0. So what is the quotient? 633. And what is the remainder? 0. What is the quotient? 6, 633. And what is the remainder? 0. Let us move to the next question. In a town, there are 3057 families. The town panchayat plans to split the town into three wards equally. How many families will be there in one ward? So, total number of families given, number of wards given, that is number of division parts given. So, we have to find the families will be there in one ward. So, let us see the answer. Number of families 3057. Number of wards equal to 3. We have to find number of families in 1 ward. How will we find? 
by division. 3057 divided by 3. So, when we divide 3057 by 3, we get the quotient is 1019. What is the answer? 1019. Number of families in one word equal to 1019. Let us move to the next one. A water board shares 28,049 liters daily to 7 lorries. How much of water is given to each lorry? So, let us see the answer. Number of liters. Totally they given 28,049 liters. The number of lorries they given 7. So, we have to find the number of liters in each lorry. How will we find? By dividing. 28,049 divided by 7. So, when we divide 28,049 by 7, we will get the quotient is 4,007. What is the quotient we get? 4,007. So, number of liters in each lorry is equal to what? 4,007 liters. L means what? Liters. 4,007 liters. Let us move to the next one. A company gives 93,300 as salary for 6 workers. Find the salary of 1 worker. Let us see the answer. Amount of salary equal to how much they given? Rupees 93,300. Number of workers they given how much? 6. Then salary of 1 worker how will we find? 93,300 divided by 6. So, when we divide 93,300 by 6, we get 15,550 as the quotient. What is the quotient? 15,550. So, salary of one worker is equal to rupees 15,550. What is the salary of one worker we got? Rupees 15,550. Thank you children. Practice these questions again and again. Still you get the clear idea about the division. Thank you.